for the rewind, of which I have a spring and a mesh and a pulley, which probably would go on there like that, right? Inside there. But the tabs are broken off. So I'm either going to have to weld something in there. I don't know. That's my last major hurdle. And then we'll have a motor. All right, look what I found in the shed. A black cover that fits perfectly. And it's even got the wind vane stopper underneath there. I guess that one does too. But this one has the broken tab for the rewind. So I still have to invent something for that. So in the meantime, I'd like to find out if this runs. So I'm going to just bolt this down. One. My gosh, this Briggs and Stratton stuff's amazing, eh? This is an 84 starter or shroud. So I'd like to get the other one going because it's got the, more of an accurate date. Okay, let's see if we can pull it. Good. Now we can put the plug in to see how that feels. Now I'm going to feel all the compression because it doesn't have a compression release, remember? And I took a compression test but it wasn't... Con I wasn't happy with how it turned out. Okay, let's feel this. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's going to take everything I got to start that one. Oh. Going to have to bolt that down. So now I want to hook up this wire. So I got a little more to do, but by gosh, we're almost ready to stick some oil in it and a bung. Fantastic. So it's really looking like a Franken motor now, isn't it? Just fun. All right, there's my Franken motor on my jack stands, and I just did a quick carriage bolt screw down for that piece of wood up coming up through so at least now they aren't going to go anywhere and yes I even centered the piece of wood even though it looks terrible but it's holding a motor I'm just going to screw this down so it's not going to hop all over the place and then we're going to fire it up <laughs> so in my last minute ser searches I found one of those and let's see what else was I looking for Oh, I need an air filter cover, but I've got five or six of those different shapes. So we're going to stick a little oil in here. Away from the light, Luke. Well, this was a fun little project. I'm not quite done yet. I'd like to use the white cover instead of the black cover, but the black cover kind of gives a uh, description of desperation, doesn't it? So now we need some grassoline. As my now 38 year old daughter used to say when she was two. Okay, so we're gonna put some gas in this bad boy. I need a little bit of prime. Ooh, that's a lot of prime. So now I think we'll just get you to stand back. It might hop off that counter, right? 
Are you with me? So let's just give it a couple of tugs first. I'm going to get rid of some more of this sawdust. I use air to sweep. So do you think it's going to go? Now, because it's an automatic choke, it may not go on the first pull, but I did plan it. So, I think it's pretty solid. We're not turned off. We are at, let's see, we're at three quarters throttle, full choke. I'm just, oh, i got to wipe up a little bit of fuel here. Make sure it's not leaking out of the main. Okay, are we ready? Nothing, honey. Over, maybe I flooded it. Of course, with an automatic choke, when you flood it, they're harder to start. So let's just stick a little screw of ice down there. Give it a little air. Okay. So that proves that it'll run. But will it draw and do all the other things it's supposed to do? Is it? as well. It's a fuzzy little devil, but remember there's no blade and they act as a flywheel. So it's, we're really not going to find out how it runs <laughs> until uh, we get a blade on it. I just remembered something. You got to have the screw in these with the either that or the air filter because they draw in too much air. I'll be right back. Okay, let's continue having some fun. So this is the one I'm going to pick. I'm not going to put a filter in it just yet. We don't need one, but I do think we have to have a screw into the carburetor because it sucks air through the hole where the screw is, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if that helps at all. enough racket for one day. All right, another shot of my back.
doesn't get any better than that. It's uh, not running smooth because there's no blade. Have you ever used your, your Thatcher blade on your lawnmower and it runs a little different? That's what's happening with that, eh? I'm pretty happy. It doesn't smoke now. It sure did when I first fired it up, eh? But that, uh, that was a, it's a different rod and a different piston. And so, yeah, five different mowers in there. So now I know I got, if I got an old Briggs that comes in, I've got parts. I want to try it on the lawnmower now. That's my next mission, is to put a blade on it and see if it runs any smoother. And if not, I'll change the diaphragm. All right. That's a lot of work. All right, guys. This is my old Briggs. This is my old, old Frankenstein Brig Briggs. And I want to put that more in that case because I need a flywheel just to see how it really runs. Point of interest, these had never had a self-tapping uh, chassis bolt before. I had to thread those in on the old, new, old motor. But I pre-threaded them just in case it snapped something. So let's do this. You guys can watch. In the bad light, Luke. One, two, three. Let's just do it carefully. Okay. It's going to work. I'm going to just thread the first one in. So it won't fall out afterwards. I think you watched me do this about a week ago, didn't you? There's a bit of lubrication for the nation. Now, I want to measure that output shaft distance. The old one was just under one and a half. And so is this one. Well, that's just too darn cool. Okay, let's get the blade on there and we're rocking and rolling. Where's my impact? That was so generously given to me. Got a little plan B on that blade. Crazy, huh? The original blade adapter. And then we will just omit this. And that, I think. That doesn't have to work forever. Okay, let's put her down on the ground. We got a blade. We got a good carburetor. I think it's adjusted right. Let's find out right now. Hey, are you ready? Sorry, I'm in the way again. There. Are you still watching? It should start, and it should start better. So you guys, uh, let me close the big door, should be less wind. 
So you guys, when you're working on a lawnmower engine, doesn't matter what kind, if they've got an aluminum flywheel, they need the weight of a blade to act like a flywheel. I think you might remember how it was running, but it was just not running right up on that stand over there. And as soon as we got it onto a frame with a blade, a properly sized blade, 20 inch blade, it just ran like a top. And I just had to turn down the idles just a little bit because I, or sorry, I had to turn down the maximum RPMs just a little bit because I had to crank it up higher when it had no art, when it had no flywheel or blade. So I'm just stoked. Thank you very much. And this has been a great little series. Okay guys, real world test. It's been sitting for two days. If it starts, I'm gonna just let it warm up a little bit, drain the fuel, and uh, put the other motor back on this frame. Here we go. That's finally a good combination. Okay, for those of you that are wondering, yes, I do have a little gas extractor. I've tried it on oil, but if the oil's cool, it doesn't work that well. It, this works just really great on gasoline, though. It's done now. I've got it all sucked out. There wasn't much in there. Hey. All right, let's see if there's any gas in the tube at all, in the, in the, up, in the updraft tube. That's it. I even dumped a rag into the tank to suck up the last of the moisture before I, uh, I uh, ran it again. So, she's empty. Alright, now I'm just going to take the motor off the frame. Okay, Musty One got me going. Uh, he was doing compression on a 250 Honda. And he had the throttle closed and then the throttle open. And there was a difference, but not a lot. But the last time I checked this one, the choke stays completely closed. So now I've got the choke jammed open and I've got it running on full throttle. And I just want to see what the compression of this motor is before I stick it up in the shelf. Let's do it. Ha! Ah. And it's 90. 90 PSI on a 90 PSI, a little more than that, on a, uh, let me see, on a spare parts built lawnmower from parts from 20 years of heart. Even down to the uh, governor parts, eh? all from different mowers. Cool! All right, you guys might as well watch. You guys still watching? Yes. My world is pretty cool. I get to go do stuff.
with 18,000 of my closest friends every time I do something. Check. I'm going to just... Yes. Okay. Do I shut you off to go get the anti-seize or not? So I'm going to put this little... Just the tiniest bit, eh? This is my back alley mower, right guys? Okay. Now, the rest is just the handle and the stop cable, etc. etc.